بس in all of us alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given us the feet to come here it not, is not to gain any worldly benefit well the worldly benefit will come with the benefit of deen as well but this is an opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and we don't get paid for coming to the masjid all we've come here because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has invited, invited us into the masjid So the way that Allah is pleased with, is more pleased with. If you try to follow those ways, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us tawfiq, full tawfiq inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmadu wa nusalli ala rasulil kareem. My respected brothers, and is this a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tawfiq to come to the masjid. This comes in a hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A person who loves masjid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. Allah loves those people who come to the masjid. And it comes in a hadith that the, com- the angels are their companions. The people who come to the masjid, angels are their companions. And where they are not present, when they are not present, they don't come to the masjid, the angels go and visit them. If they are sick, the angels go and visit them in their markets or their places where they're out. The angels help them. So this is the biggest blessing, my respected brothers. And we all, we all, uh, is a human nature. If somebody does anything good to us, we try to please him. We try to please someone who pleases us. We look for ways how to please him. And if you think about the, the blessings and the bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, the ni'ams, the, the, the ni'mas that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, Allah jo kar rahe, wo hamare saath, hamare koi nahi kar sakta. What is Allah, what Allah gives us, nobody else can give us. No, nobody at all. The same, the same body that does everything. Ek hukam hota hai, the hukam of Allah goes out and is called a dead body. He can't do nothing. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The whole world come together cannot give life to a dead person. No matter how advanced, how developed they are, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, my respected brothers, the biggest, the most merciful and the benevolent and that being that has given us everything and the most bountiful is none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why we say, La ilaha illallah. I remember once this hadith was recited by, we hear this again and again, you know, Jaddidu imanakum, refresh your iman. There was an Egyptian Arab, I saw him in, um, in Ijtima, in Rai Vajisa many years ago. Blind guy walking around and loudly saying, Jaddidu imanakum, Jaddidu imanakum. Blind guy, oldish guy. He's going around blind and he's reminding people, and just say, refresh your iman. The Sahaba asked, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how, how do we refresh our iman? And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in abundance, la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Allah is the one who is our cherisher. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll realize, my respected brothers, as it comes in Fadali Amal, we say, a person who says once, la ilaha illallah, 4,000 hasanat as written in his book of deeds. Char hazar neki uske nama imal me. This is how much Allah is pleased. Only by what? You know, somebody talks about us, and somebody says, somebody was saying good about you. You know, we feel how pr- the proud, the, the pride we feel, the happiness we feel, because somebody was talking about us. Imagine my respect, but Allah is saying, You remember me, I will remember you. Who are we when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembers us? Can you imagine my respect, brothers? This Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought us into this masjid. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tawfiq to come to the masjid. It's not our own ability, my respected brothers. There are many people, intelligent, more wealthier, they would, you know, a lot of things. And sometimes their own intelligence takes us away from, takes, takes them away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is my respected brothers, this is a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why we should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It comes in a hadith, a person will say he would wish if he would have spent the whole life in one sajda, that would not have been enough. 
and where respective brothers you compare when uh, when jamaat arab jamaat was here once they were doing bayan in shab juma and they were saying the level one level of jannah is from the heaven to the from the earth to the heaven zameen se like asman tak jannat ka ek darja hai so if one person is one subhanallah ahead of you imagine imagine you looking at the sky and you say what this guy must have done and then you say one la ilaha illa he said more than you one subhanallah he said more than you one step more to to masjid he took more than you so imagine you know hame to yahan pe kisi ki gaadi kisi ke ghar hazm nahi hota here we see somebody's got bigger you know better mobile phone new mobile phone 70 plate car and whatever and you know we wish i wish i had this i wish i had this two years later you don't want the same thing you when you spend the best thing in the world you spent you you have it for a week or two weeks you will say you just well, ask what is it wahi hai wahi khana hai wahi peena hai wahi chicken hai wahi pizza hai that's the same thing but my respected brothers then we will realize this is why the signs of iman the first sign of iman in alladina minuna bil ghaib allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the taqwa the signs of muttaqin is what those people who have sign who have iman in the unseen things unseen the the unseen the unseen the iman in the unseen promises of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the iman in the unseen promise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, when the doors of jannah open up i was listening to one of the bayans you were saying in the first announcement you made where are the poor people where are the poor people so those people who have iman in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those people poor people and allah will ask them what have you brought kya lekar aaye ho they will say oh allah we have brought patience we had nothing we have brought patience hum sabar leke aaye and allah will say to them yes aaj jannat mein 500 saal pehle maldar logo se dakhil ho jao enter into jannah 500 years 500 i think it's how many years i can't remember exactly i think it's 500 years says 500 years enter jannah before the people who are wealthier or affluent so why they had belief yaqeen yaqeen in what in the promise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter we had no, we have nothing you know we hear the stories of sahaba khubab radhiyallahu anhu sayyidina umar radhiyallahu anhu when they used to cry when the wealth used to come when the wealth came to them jab mal aaya to ro rahe the oh allah we have not done for this dunya ye dunya to aisi hai jitni aati jaati hai utna aadmi ko bhook lagi zyada badhti jaati hai the more you have the more poor you become this is the principle of din jitna mal aata jayega aadmi ki bhook badhti jaati hai khushi aadmi ki khatam ho jaati hai the, the, the happiness go away slowly slowly this is why my respected brothers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this life a life of test liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala the who brings the best of amal who brings the best of amal so my respected brothers these are opportunities that we get again and again and these are blessings big blessings from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a person who gets the blessing of reminder of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes into a congregation where remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking place at the end of which the sins are forgiven converted to good deeds imagine how fortunate how fortunate a person how can who can be a better fortunate who can be more fortunate than that person whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is who a person who calls to us allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can be a better who whose words can be better than that person who calls to us allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so my respected brothers the first thing is that we should do shukr to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this opportunity to come here uh, and then in youth a person who is younger i remember sheikh jihani was doing once bayan in uh, in our birmingham in Sh- shab juma bayan you know sheikh jihani all of you probably he said i'm talking to you youngster people mashallah a lot of youngsters are here, sitting here he said we have lost it we have lost it it comes one in a lifetime youth you have lost it because of the youth allah will give him the shade of the throne the, the shade of his throne on the arsh uh, 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 the shade of his arsh on the day of judgment the shade of his rahma on the day of judgment only because of the youth to jaise duniya qeemat lagati hai aise hi allah subhanahu wa taala bhi logo ki waqt ki qeemat lagate you know the way you know the big line you know just go in front of the factory some old people some young people and they want some people to do some job for them they just pick the youngsters isn't it usually commonly so likewise my respected brothers this is a blessing of allah subhanahu wa taala that allah subhanahu wa taala has given us iman and allah subhanahu wa taala has given us some some connection with the effort of iman my respected brothers the effort of iman the effort of iman 
the protection that 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 iman that azarra of which will give a person ten times bigger jannat than this world. Thus, guna badi jannat milay is dunya se ten times bigger one is jannat is is dunya se thus iota of iman iota of iman zarra iman ka zarra barama. This is why the Sahabas and Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I was just reading. We were reading just yesterday. A Yahudi and a Sufi got zehar diya. A Yahudi gave poison to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam had the effect of uh, no, us pe jadu kiya zehar, magic. So six months, Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam was was under the influence of that zehar, magic. Or kaha ki Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam even not even mentioned it never even once to that Yahudi. اتنی دل کے اندر غیروں کی خیر خائی تھی کہ نو ایون مینشن اٹ وانس ٹو دیٹ یہود ان از لائف ٹائم کہ آپ نے میرے ساتھ ایسے کیا یو ہیو ڈن سچ اینڈ سچ تھنگ ٹو می اینڈ دین دا لیڈی ہو گیو زہر یو نو پوائزن ٹو رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یوز ٹو اپنے لیے کسی سے بدلہ نہیں لیا نیو ٹیک ٹو ریونج فرام اینی ون بیکاز آف ہم سیلف بیکاز ہی نیو دس از دس آل مائی امت از The pain that Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam had in his heart for the entire ummah, for the entire mankind. So, by respect to brothers, Allah subhanahu wa taala has given us iman, and Allah subhanahu wa taala has given us the effort of iman, and Allah subhanahu wa taala has given us these amal of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa taala, the amal, then the faraid, and then is an open is an open madan for everyone. How much a person? How who is the most intelligent? Who is the most intelligent? You know, we hear from these, uh, from ulama, the ayahs of the Quran, you know, that Allah has created signs of heaven, is created signs in the heaven, in the creation of the heaven, in the fi khalqi samawati wal ard wa khtilaf al layl wal nahar, in the change of the day and night. Allah has kept the signs of what? La ayat al ulil al for people of intellect, intelligent people. Unke liye nishani ya rakhi hai. And who are most intelligent? Next, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alladheena adkuroon Allah qiyaman wa quudan wa ala junubi. Those people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lying, standing and sitting in every aspect of their life, what they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lying, standing, lying, standing and sitting. So when they talk, when they utter something, they remember, yadkuroon Allah. And when they are quiet, what they do? Wa yatafakkaroon fi khalqis sanawati wa lada. They do fikr, they ponder. Pondering the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first thing when they realize, the first thing when they realize this is a test, the first thing, oh Allah save us from the hellfire. The first thing they say is, you have not created this in vain. Oh Allah protects us from the hellfire. So my respected brothers are walking, sitting, lying down, every, every aspect of our life, if you are intelligent, if you are intelligent, then every aspect of our, of our life is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I was listening to Mutaki Usmani sir, he was saying the other day, one of his bayans, that the masnoon du'as, the masnoon du'as, you know, you wake up first thing, Alhamdulillah, alladhi ahiyana ba'ad ma'amatana wa ilayhim nushur. When you lie, you know, when you're about to sleep, you say, Allahumma bismika amutu wa When you eat, you see masnoon du'a. When you go to the toilet, you enter. When you change your clothes, you say du'a. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants his slave to ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. Allah is so khush hoti, ek banda mujh se maangta hi rahe. عجیب ہے واٹ اے بینگ ہم سے کوئی دو دفعہ کوئی چیز مانگ لے اف سمبڈی آس ونس اور کپل آف ٹائم دا سیم تھنگ دو تین دفعہ کتنا ہی اچھا دوست ہو جائے نو میٹر ہاؤ گڈ اے فرینڈ از یو ول گیٹ یو نو اسٹارٹ ٹو ہی ول فیل دا سائنس آن آر فیس از انٹ اٹ کہ بھائی بس یو نو داس انف از انف بٹ ہاؤ عجیب ذات اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از مولانا فرما رہے تھے کہ یو نو ہی واز سینگ دس اللہ مخیر لی وختر لی This dua he was teaching, basically. Allahumma khirli wa khtarli. It's a dua of istikhara. I heard Haji Sahib saying many times, I, I did this 101 times and I just decided for this, so I decided for this and I said this, Haji Abdul Hamza, Rahmatullahi He said this dua that even if you are undecided between two things, shall I take this path? I'm going, coming to the masjid. Shall I come this way or shall I go this way? Even for this he say, quickest way, make much way, Allah, Allahumma khirli wa khtarli. And just take a path, Allah will put barakat for you in it. ہاں یہ چیز خریدوں یہ والا یہ 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 کیا کہتے ہیں مسالہ خریدوں یہ والا مسالہ خریدوں اس کمپنی والا خریدوں اس کمپنی والا خریدوں ایون فار دیٹ میک مشور اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہاؤ مرسی فل اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ از مائی اسپیکٹر بدر عجیب دیٹ ہی وانٹس ٹو میک مشور اللہ سبحانہ آف ایوری تھنگ 
ask dua for everything ke bhai allah khush hote hain ke jitna aadmi allah se mangta rahe aise we will remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will close a connection with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what is the effort of dawud spreading these things telling to everyone har ek ke dil mein allah ki mohabbat janna in every person's heart putting the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dawud alayhi salam i was just uh, read dawud alayhi salam as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh allah how can i become your beloved how how can i become your beloved so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him you make me beloved to people you will become my beloved aap log mujhe logon ka mehboob banao to tum mere mehboob ban jaoge and how do we make people must my how we do make allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beloved to people logo ko batao how much allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is loving us what allah has given us no one else can give us my respect to this think about one name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you go to hospitals you will realize ki allah hamare sath kitna ehsaan ka mamla kar rahe you go to hospital you will see there are people every breath har ek saans ke every breath they suffer every single breath they suffer there are people you know in our communities here there are people who visit hospitals in the young age every two or three weeks every two or three weeks there are people on dialysis who get some of these people visit three times a week for dialysis on four five hours on dialysis machine every week there are other forms of it they are connected to the dialysis machine every night for 12 hours 10 or 12 hours there are certain people they are connected to the machine four times a day at home and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole blood is circulating every minute our body pura pura circulate karta every minute and imagine din mein kitne minute hote hain 60 times 24 1440 or something 1440 times the blood circulate and cleans it cleans everything allah subhanahu wa taala you know one our brother was saying that i was in uh, i was once doing tawaf in haram i was doing tawaf in haram one guy i saw he had headphones in his you know in his ears so i chased him i asked him what are you listening to he said i'm listening to the stories of anbiya qasas al anbiya he said i thought he was a patan i realized when i spoke to him he was palestinian palestinian brother he said he was a teacher he was a teacher So he said to me I asked him are you listening to the thing he he started talking to me and he said you know I am a school teacher in Palestine and we know obviously the history they have been going through a lot of hardships difficult times for many years generations actually have grown up in that environment in that situation so they said you know some of you know the children they grow they grow up and they listen this oh such as such as died oh this calamity has happened why so all right is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala problem comes people just say do sabar is from allah subhanahu wa taala jo musibat aati hai log kehte hain allah ki taraf se koi baat nahi so he said the youngs used to get uh, you know a bit of kya kehte hain bezari bezari allah ke allah ke bare mein bezari hoti hai na i mean ki all the problems allah just send the problems so the children they growing up in that and they just listening all their lives you know this problem came it's all right do sabar this is from allah subhanahu wa taala So he said uh, I just thought what shall I do you know these youngsters these boys are growing up listening all their lives that the problems are coming only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to mai isi mein mai wo fikr mand tha ki kya karu what shall I do so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in my mind that in the class I used to ask then I started asking youngsters that who has given you this eyes and they say this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now can anyone give you this eyes He said, "No, you know how merciful Allah is. Allah Subhanahu has given us these eyes. Okay, so who has given given you these tomatoes? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Using tomato ketchup, you put it in curries and do this and such and such things with it. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Can the whole world come together give you a tomato? He was said, 'No.' He said, 'How merciful Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is. How caring and loving Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is that He does things that nobody else can do for us.'" who has given us you know who has given us these legs to walk who has given us eyes that we see with he said allah subhanahu wa can any is there anyone else who can give us eyes he said no so i start in talking to them to the children and slowly slowly they start to talk about these things between themselves this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah has given us this allah has given us this my respected brother this is what this is la ilaha illa allah if you think and ponder over it how often do we talk to our children when we sit on dastakhan 
and we have 10 or 12 things on the Dastarkhan. And there are people who every day don't even know. In, in, today there will be millions of people who have not eaten anything. There are hundreds, not hundreds, thousands of people who don't know where they would be sleeping. They don't know uh, if they're going to have anything to eat tomorrow. There'll be th there are thousands of people who know it isn't. Even in this country, there'll be people who have not eaten, let alone around the world. So my respected brothers, the environment of the environment of da'wah, the environment of talking about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was the environment that the, it was in the time of the Sahaba, Ridwan Allah ta'ala And we hear about the stories of the, the eminent Sahabas of the time of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu, who used to hold the hand of someone and he say, Nu'min Sa'ad, let's bring Iman for a short while. I was looking in Hayatul Sahaba about all the eminent Sahabas, Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu Abdullah ibn Rawaha radiallahu Sayyidina Umar radiallahu Abu Hurair radiallahu all the eminent Sahabas, about all of them riwayat comes, they used to say, let's bring, a bit, uh, let's bring Iman for a short while. Let's bring Iman for a short while. With whom? Uh, uh, with each other. I was listening to one uh, was Shaykh Ladi Sahab was saying that even in the time of the Sahabas, the governors used to meet each other. Mu'ad ibn Jabal Adilano and Abu, As Abu Musa Ash'ari Adilano, they were governors at the time. When they used to meet each other, they would ask, how is your tahajjud? Aapki tahajjud ki namaz ki hai? The other one would ask, how is your tilawat of the Quran? And he would say, I even sleep for this sake that I wake up and do the tilawat of the Quran. I do tilawat of the Quran, walking, sitting, every, you know, all the times. So the governors of the time, reminding each other about the greatness of Allah, about the purpose of this life. This one, my respective brothers, the, Haba, the Sahaba's worry and concern were constantly focused on the Akhirah. And this is why I respect your brothers, this effort of deen is what? This effort of deen, the Sahabas were businessmen, they were obviously politicians, they ran governments, they did everything, but they are known, they are known by what? By the protectors of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu used to say it was only Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, only Abu Bakr, where everybody else had one rai, and Abu Bakr radiallahu said, no, the jamaat that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa is tashkil at the time of his demise, that will go out. It was only Abu Bakr, he said, because of him, Allah has protected our deen. The biggest the sacrifice, the biggest the sacrifice, uh, the highest the status. My respected brothers, this, this deen was established upon the sacrifices of the Sahabas. Uh, we heard about, you know, we hear again and again about Abu Ayyub Ansari, anhu, Abu, about uh, uh, Hazrat Bilal, radiallahu anhu, about, you know, all these Sahabas, they are buried somewhere else around the world. Puri dunya mein unki kabre bani hui hai. Even in, we are in, in Peshawar, in our Peshawar, we have been, koi hai yaan pe, they might have visited the graves of the Sahabas even in Peshawar. Yeah. So my respected brothers, this is an absolute honor. Uh, today, as I said, you know, we feel honored in many things of this dunya. Uh, we say, who are you? Oh, I'm such and such. I've been promoted to such and such. You know, sometimes we get calls from different, you know, if somebody, uh, you know, I am such and such, I want to talk to such and such. You know, somebody solicitor, you'll just say, I'm a solicitor. And somebody say, you know, I'm whatever. So these are the status of this dunya. But my respected brothers, on the Day of Judgment, announcements will change. Ayn al-fuqara, gharib lo ka hai, ayn al-ulama, ulama ka hai, ayn al-hufaz, hufaz ka hai. Aise elan hongi. On the Day of Judgment, announcements will change. I was just reading just now in... Uh, I was just reading one of the tafsirs, you know, just, uh, just after Maghrib, uh, before Maghrib. One alim will do sh shafaat for all his students, even if they're equal to the stars. Abhi hum to samajte hai na, you know, ask him, he is such and such, kisi ka kaam hospital mein kaam hai, speak to the doctor, kisi ka police mein kaam hai, speak to the police, kisi ka, you know, we ask him. But my respected brothers, this time will be over very soon. And when it changes, people will realize that who are the most intelligent. And it's something to think about. Uh, he will say, you know, I am I'm the most intelligent. I used to read five times prayers. Some people will come, I have got five times salah with jamaat, 27 times each, multiplied by 27 times. Some people will say, I've got the namaz of Masjid the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 50,000 times it by 50,000. I have brought the namaz of haram, 100,000. And some people will say, I have brought not my namaz, I have brought the namaz of hundreds of other people with me. I remember we just uh, met one of the guys in, um, anyway, he said, my brother, 
He was, his shop was in Medina Munawwara, outside Masjid the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Didn't used to go Salah. He used to, whenever he would come to Pakistan, he would take cassettes and stuff from music, you know, or take it with him. But when you don't realize, my respected brothers, that how big a business that even one person is, agar kisi ke haath ye lag gaya, hira hai. Ye wahan namaze padega, wahan mehnat karega, he will do effort, he will read namaz, all the, all the reward will come into someone who makes effort for him. Allah usko mein lagaya. Then he realized, ki, where are we living? I'm living in front of every salah 50,000 times. And imagine when we don't have, we don't, we don't realize the value, then you know it doesn't matter how valuable something is. Aisi hamare liye hai. One salah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one sahabi says, we were returning from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and on the way back, we stopped at a valley. It was a very beautiful valley, very sweet water. And I wanted to stay there, but I said, I won't do it without asking Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked him, Oh Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I want to do this. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, okay, Don't even think about it. Stay in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Staying, standing in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for one moment, for one saad is better than 70 years of Salah at home. 70 years of Salah at home. And one day, I was just doing some calculations with my kids, one day, if you make it 20 minutes of Salah, it's 72 Sa'ats in a day. Uh, 72. One day, one Sa'ah is more than 70 years, so one day is more than 5,000 years of Salah at home. 5,000 Sal ki namaz. This is why when the Sahaba, when they used to go out, we hear the story then of the youngster, you and they wanted to fight, or so I want to go. I want to give my life for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to give my life. Hanzala radiallahu anhu, he was in the state of Janabat when he left to protect the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was sitting in, a, in, in Rive in one of the Buzurgs asked us, How long would have taken him to do ghusl? Two minutes, two, three minutes? Us time ka ghusl kya tha? Shower me khada hona to nahi tha ki shower me hoke garam pani aaj nikalne ka dil nahi karta. Two three minutes he could have done ghusl and would have left. Why? Why he did? Usne achha kiya ki achha nahi kiya. We all thinking I don't know what's the question. Why is he asking this question? Usne kya agar wo ghusl bhi kar le tha, to usko farishte pir kahan ghusl dete? He would have done ghusl. How would the farishtan would have been given ghusl to him? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he said, I saw him, that the farishti, the angels were giving him ghusl. He gave his life. He left one farad to protect the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He left a farad to protect the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the angels came to give him ghusl. So my respected brothers, the effort of deen is a big, one of the biggest blessings, my respected brothers, if we realize this life is going, we all want to invest our time. If you give five pounds to a young boy, three, four years old, what he will do? He will go to the shop and buy some chocolates for him. Isn't it? Give it to slightly more, slightly elder than him, what he will do? He will probably buy a mobile phone with it. It will start it'll long, it last a bit longer. It will last a bit longer. It will last a bit longer. It will last a bit longer. He may just buy a car with him. It last even, you know, it last even longer. Don't, don't use it, invest it. What we will do is invest it. That is saved and you keep earning from it. My respect, brother, this is the effort of deen. The more you use it, the more you spread it, the more you utilize it, uh, your rewards will multiply and multiply and we will realize when people are given lump sum on the day of judgment. We hear in the hadith, from ulama, people will be given lump sum. Once we were in one of the tashkil, you know, one guy, one brother, um, mashallah, you know, looking uh, very pious man, white beard, he used to come, uh, stand right in front of the imam. Uh, he would come and go, first come, first go. So, uh, mashallah, you know, always, mere dil mein bahut tabne ka, yaar, ya hamare sab bethte nahi hai. I just said, you know, this guy doesn't sit with us. He was such a man, you know. On day three, the next day we were moving from that masjid. That guy sat with us in Talim and sat next to me. And after the tashkil, 
He started talking to me. I said, I was talking to him. I said, Alhamdulillah. So I started talking to him. He said, you know, once what happened? I, I called our Amir Sahib. Our Amir Sahib, he, uh, he, had, he was spending, he, he, he was spending four months, four months every year for, for 20, that was 28th year, four months. From the age of 20, he was spending four months every year. He said, few youngster, he's, he's, the brother who was with us in Jamaat, he was saying, he doesn't tell, he will always say, this is my first month, because he said, we have not learned anything in the last four months, so this is kind of our first four months. But he said, I know him, he's, they, a, few, these, a few of these youngsters in, in made intention at the age of 10 to go spend four months, these guys have spent all their lives. He was an accountant, working accountant. So he said, um, so I called Amit Samkebai, he was a, a retired army general, this guy was. And anyway, so he said to me, you know, um, you know, once I was sitting in a masjid and talim was taking place and this hadith was read. The best amongst you is the one who learns and teaches Quran. He said, I heard this and I made intention that I'll go to my own locality and I'll open a masjid or madrasa and I will look after the madrasa, all its expenses and everything by listening to that hadith. Our Amir Zab said, you know, you have heard one hadith and one madrasa because of you has come into existence. How many more people might be sitting in that majlis at the time? Who knows? We came to know because of you just said it. That person would maybe even didn't even know who just said the hadith. Jisne hadith padi usko to malum bhi nahi hoga. Ki us majme se ek ne masjid khol liya, ek ne madrasa khola, itne patne kya khola, patne kya khola. What will he get? And imagine that person who goes door to door, a person who goes town to town, a person who goes country to country. Imagine my respected brothers, who is going to match the book of deeds of those people? This is why Allah subhanahu wa taala says. There's no words better than those words who call towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Intelligent are the one my respected brothers. And these opportunities we get come again and again. My respected brothers, we will remember these things on the day of judgment. Just say, humne fayda liya. Those gatherings you have benefited from, oh, wohi hame ya, us waqat, alhamdulillah, you benefit from these gatherings. Or jo miss ki, these miss opportunities, we even, we even regret them in this dunya. When I was, you know, 25 years old, he offered me such and such thing, I missed it. If I would have accepted, if I would have got that offer today, I would have been such and such. But my respected brothers, imagine when the status are given and everything is shut, the hasrat, the only thing, comes in a hadith, I, could, I wish I could have done more. I wish I would have not spent, I would have not wasted a single minute or second. So for this sake, my respected brothers, the effort of these opportunities come. And we don't do amal for ourselves. Remember this. Mera masjid me ana hota na when I walk from the masjid, so many people just see us. We hear. I have had many stories, and I'm sure you must have heard. You know, jamaats go and people see them and they accepted Islam. Some some people come into the effort of Deen. Some people started reading Salat because I saw this and I saw such and such things. My coming to the masjid is not because of for me. So many people see me on the way. Ye bhai masjid ki taraf ja rahe, and they just feel like. You know, I want to go to the masjid as well. So don't even think that my going out in this Christmas holidays in December time, or you know, when I make intention for four months, I stand up. I stand up sometime. I remember, I, and I'm sure we have seen our, in our masjid once we were in Birmingham, one guy, four, five brothers used to make intention four months, four months, four months. The most, the one that we thought about, he, would, he, he can't go. He didn't have means. He was, you know, a laborer kind of guy, you know. The only person who went whom? That person. Baki char panch nahi gaye. He was the only one that went. Wohi gaya. Kabhi kabhi hamari intention hoti hai na, our intention, take someone else away. Hama nahi ja paate. So don't even think that this my intention, my three days only for me. Bhoat se log hume dekh ke nikalte hai. They may not even tell us. So this is why we should never do and we take all these opportunities my respect of this make intention to go out in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these are said these opportunities come it's made it easy for us nowadays previous you know if you think about the qurbanis of certain people we had one guy and brother in, in here in UK one of the cities at the age of 14 he accepted Islam and his parents Chucked him out of his house, their house. Usko nikal diya ghar se. He had spent four months making the effort of deen. In this country, my respect, people are making so many sacrifices. 
हम तो बड़े खुशकिस्मत हैं वी आर वेरी लकी वी आर वेरी फॉर्चुनेट हमारे लिए कि यू नो पीपल हुआ बिन बैठ के गो आउट इन द पाथ ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान तो माय रिस्पेक्टेड ब्रदर फॉर दिस सेक इंशाल्लाह मेक इंटेंशन मेक इंटेंशन टू गो आउट इन द पाथ ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान व तआला एंड लॉन्गर इंटेंशन व्हेन वी हैव हॉलिडेज और अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड वी क्रिएट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर आरसेल्व्स वी क्रिएट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर आरसेल्व्स अपने लिए मौके तलाश करें हाउ कैन वी गो आउट हाउ कैन वी टेक ब्रदर्स आरसेल्व्स इस दुनिया से जाते हुए आदमी यही देखेगा व्हेन वी लीविंग दिस दुनिया The only thing we will regret is how much investment we are leaving behind. So, by respect to brother, for this sake, inshallah, this time is coming. You know, Alhamdulillah, holidays have already started. Uh, actually, time can be started from tomorrow, from today. You know, the, nowadays, you know, I see that even in masjid, we don't turn inside. We can't obviously spend night in the masjid. All we do is just come to the masjid, make the masjid abad with amal, three days, ten days, whatever time we have. जो भी कुछ कर सकते हैं मीट द पीपल दिस माई बी द टाइम मेक लोकल एफर्ट इन द होल ऑफ लोकेलिटीज यू नो मीट एवरी सिंगल वन जी तो कौन इनशाला नियत करता है ऑल ब्रदर्स इनशाला मेक इंटेंशन हुई मेकिंग इंटेंशन फॉर दिस इनशाला Allah the first one is the first no oh, just don't wait ha intezar na kare jaldi jaldi naam likhai ha Allah ko bol karna hai kya bhai kaam hai Allah ko ma sha Allah name Isa जो जितना जल्दी करेगा उतना ही आगे हाँ Make intention, give your intention, then make mashwara. Our dawat effort is easy. Niyat kare mashwara kare, yes, mashwara hoga. If you know, if if uh, circumstances allow, you will go. If they don't, our elders may Allah give them jazaa khair. You know, they look at all our halat. Wife is happy, children are happy, everyone is happy, boss is happy, and they allow it. If you and a single person are not happy, they just say you stay at home. Wo kurbani to purani kurbani ki, but everybody is upset. You go. So, inshallah, we present ourselves. 
وہ اینڈ میک انٹینشن فار فل جمع وہ بابر صاحب آئے تھے رائے والے وہ کہہ رہے تھے کہ بھائی دوسروں کے گھر سے نکالتے ہو اس میں بھی کنجوسی کرتے ہو میک انٹینشن یو نو فل جماعت سے اللہ قبول فرمائے ماشاء اللہ ماشاء اللہ ٹرائی اینڈ کمپلیٹ دا جماعت ماشاء اللہ اللہ قبول فرمائے اللہ قبول فرمائے مکسچر آف جماعت ینگسٹرز ایلڈرز ان شاء اللہ ماشاء اللہ جس کے دل میں آ رہا ہے وہ نیت پیش کرے ان شاء اللہ اس کے دل میں کچھ طلب ہو رہی ہے جس پر یو نو میک انٹینشن دس از ناٹ گوئنگ دس میکنگ انٹینشن انٹینشن از دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ If you couldn't go, Allah will give us the reward, inshallah. بی دا فرسٹ بی دا فرسٹ Who else is... 
کچھ نہ کچھ نہیں ہے تو سب بھی کر لیں انشاءاللہ اللہ قبول فرمائے This two weeks, all of two weeks, you know, mashallah, all the students, colleges are off, universities are off, everything is shut. So anytime, it doesn't have to be 24th, mashallah, one jamaat they're making. Some other brothers, another date, inshallah, two or three jamaats, four jamaats can go, mashallah. Everybody has made intention. Niyat kareem, inshallah, give your intention. Not everybody will be able to go, but at least intention, everybody can make intention. ایک دوسرے کو تیار کریں try and get brothers ready next to each other brothers who made intention brothers who made intention yeah brothers who made intention try and get you know next door neighbors get them ready inshallah sitting with you mashallah डॉक्टर से परेशान मत है ना ऐसे ने चल लड़ने शिव तुम पारे शिव خروج والا آسان ہے یہ اپنے مقام والا مشکل ہے بہرحال مجاہدہ ہے this is truth it's all مجاہدہ it's not easy لیکن مجاہدہ دنیا کی you know when you do مجاہدہ you know when extra یہ کیا کہتے ہیں when you go to shift اور وہ ایکسٹر ٹائم لگتا ہے you are getting tired more tired اور دل خوش ہو رہا ہوتا ہے عجیب ہے why is this more money is coming آدمی تھک رہا ہوتا ہے ایسے ہی کبر میں آدمی کو اس کے احساس ہوگا I wish I would have got myself tired for the deen of Allah سبحانہ وتعالی رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم when he was living this دنیا فاطمہ رضی اللہ عنہ was crying and he said ابھی تو میرا خوشی کے دن تو ابھی ہے now is the time for rest اسی لئے جب لوگ those people who spend their life for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time of their leaving this dunya they will be the most pleasing you know most pleased سب سے خوش حالت کے اندر وہ جائیں گے کیونکہ انہوں نے پتہ ہے we have spent our lives all our lives we have sacrificed for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala اسی وقت پتہ چلتا ہے آدمی کو ایسی ہوتا ہے when you come from the job the longest shift you get more money when you're coming back you feel you know the happiness is just different تو ایسی ہے you will all see it You know, ask those people who are now in the grave. Is mahine mein jitne niche chale gaye hain, kabron mein unse ja ke aadmi puch le. What happened? Come on, your business is this is happening to your business and this is happening to your car. What will they say to you? To sab saath inshallah niyat kare. All brothers make intention inshallah. Sab kate na inshallah. 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 Allah kabool farma. Allah kabool farma. Who else is ready? Come 
before the book closes. Write your name in the book. on this side, mashallah. Ah, ye jawan, ye jawat hai, mashallah, jawanu. Brothers who are ready from the 24th, mashallah, if they can gather here on the on my left hand side. Mashallah, mashallah. Whatever length of time, whatever length of time you're going on the 24th, mashallah, just gather over there. Yeah. Jitna bhi din hai, mashallah. Galat shui laka shi. <laughs> no, are you ready from tomorrow? No, 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 Allah kabul farmaye. Oh, it's much more sad. Acha bar, you know, brothers, uh, what he's saying, the Jamaat, inshallah, you know, Alhamdulillah is a blessing that you have programs here after Fajr and after Isha, Talim takes place and Mashwara takes place. Khuruj is one part of the effort. The whole life is an effort. Mashwara is part of effort, Talim and you know, sitting with the ulama is part of our effort. So, whatever you can invest, whatever you can invest, and also, um, um, uh, Shobhya Juma, Thursday gatherings, try and bring some brothers. You know, you'll be amazed how many, how many people have Talab in their hearts and they don't even know. There many people in Blackburn, they don't even know there's markas here. And you tell them once, they don't know anything. They don't have any idea. So inshallah, give them targhib and try and bring, you know, from their, from their, from a workplaces, from your schools, from your colleges, jampe bhi admi university, we sab sati karengin inshallah. Can't go now, they can go news. Majjaman. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Wa Akhibat Al Muttaqeen, Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Rasulim Muhammadin Wa Alihi Wa Ashabihi Ajma'in. يا أول الأولين ويا آخر الآخرين يا ذا القوة المتين يا راحم المساكين ويا رحم الراحمين ألف لام ميم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم وإلهكم إله واحد لا إله إلا هو الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآله ألف ألف مرة جزا الله أن محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ما هو أهله اللهم اغفر لنا وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات اللهم اغفر لأمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم ارحم أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر المجاهدين في كل مكان اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم يد الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك اللهم إنا نسألك حسن الخاتمة اللهم إنا نسألك حسن الخاتمة اللهم بارك لنا في الموت وفيما بعد الموت اللهم بارك لنا في الموت وفيما بعد الموت 
اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان الله وبحمده سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين آمين برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيم